Welcome, welcome back to the WSXM channel. So, my name is Teflon, for those of you who don't know, and also my mantra, a united Africa is an undisputed Africa. So, Abraham Chori gave a speech since week here, and he's accusing, with, well, he's accusing the Ivory Coast government and the Benin government of having French bases in their countries as trained, that the French are training insurgents and along those lines to attack Burkina Faso. And this is not, you know, when Abraham Torrey speak, he does not speak from thoughts or from what he feels. He always have evidence. And in this case, he said that he have a record, a record, recorded audio and evidence that this is happening in Ivory Coast and in Benin. So let's listen to him and then we're going to dissect it. Take a listen. Boom. I say it, I insist, and I persist. We have nothing against the Ivorian people but we do have something against those who are currently running Ivory Coast. There is indeed a center of operations in Abidjan to destabilize our country. Nobody can deny that. We will provide the physical evidence in the days to come, and you will understand what we are talking about. Nobody is going to tell us that there are no French bases directed against us. We have the evidence at hand. We have nothing against the people of Benin, but we do have a problem with the policies of Benin's leaders. And we say it loud and clear. There are indeed two bases. Runways have been built at over 3,000 meters. Pla planes land and terrorists are trained there. We have audio recordings of French agents in Benin playing at the terrorists' centers of operations. We have all the details about them. And you don't want us to tell the people. We will. If they don't agree, they should stop this behavior. We have not forced anyone to become independent. If you decide to stay where you are, don't set up French bases because it's your people who will suffer. Burkina Faso was at one time a rear base for terrorists, and this is the price we are paying. The people I'm talking about need to talk to their leaders so that they stop this policy because it doesn't suit them. So, there you have it, guys, and he's, specific, he's specifically um talking not well in one even if one part of his speech is specifically speaking to towards the government not the people because he clearly says he don't have an issue with the ivory coast with i am um, the ivory coast citizens are the benin citizens he have an issue with their leaders who are allowing the french to come in build bases and uh, have three thousand meter like expanded their their um, runway to 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 be able to land larger planes that's mean they are sending in troops um weapons and they are training these insurgents to go against the aes the sahel country the, the, the federation between the aes which is mali Burkina faso and, and um niger because we do see we recently where benin attack um the pipeline of, of niger and the car and it's currently also arrested six citizens of niger claiming they are insurgents when they are just workers of the um, on the oil pipeline which they they know cut off completely so we can see it in in, in real in, in in full effect what's happening with these countries going against the Sahel country and this is what i i fail to understand i don't fail this is what i i can understand comprehend some of these african leaders especially specifically in this case the benin and the ivory coast um government you see the the the, the um the 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 what it caused when you see um presidents go against their citizens and go against other african nations you see when people when the people rise up they lose power they get they have to run away to 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 europe or to or france to hide from being arrested and they are still insisting and growing and attaching themselves to the french even though but you see i know the french just pay or pay out a lot of money to these um to these government government people because they, they try to say Burkina Faso when they try to pay um the 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 former Jandam, head of Jandam in Burkina Faso. I think it was three hundred million to take out um every I'm sure, Which they they, they found on the plot and, and foiled and then no, thirty million, sorry, my, my bad, thirty million. And then when the when the French realized they have no hope of staying in Niger, what they did, they went to the junta leader and offered him three hundred million dollars to keep them in in, in Niger. 
when the president came out and, 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 and showed what they did and how much they offered him, they didn't like that. So anyway, they ended up leave because they had no choice because they were put out. Look at what's happening in Kenya when the President Ruto is under the thumb of the Americans, specifically Biden. And look at the big uprising it caused and now it's causing an issue in Kenya. So it happens in Senegal as well when the people up when the uprise begin and kick the, get rid of the former president. Now they have a new president, which is President um Dam Damaso. I forget his name. Um he's a new president of Senegal. So when you see these presidents, they don't learn from mistakes. They are so embedded with these colonizers and they have are they have so much on them, they cannot go against them at no point. So either way, they are screwed. But for me, just resign. So if that's the case, just resign. Do not put your country in a dire strain with other African countries just to please their colonizers. And as Abraham Chauri say, he has evidence. I know when Abraham Chauri speak, he does not speak casually. He always have proof and evidence of whatever he's doing before he comes out and announce it. Whatever he's doing. If he's building something, he don't come out and say, I'm going to build this. No, he start a project and then he come and say it. Uh, you don't see him go anywhere and announce anything prematurely. It's always, after it's done, he comes out and tell it to the people. Because it's always for the people. When they changed the French language in schools to native language, it was changing the constitution as well. Uh, then he came to announce it. When he built the gold refinery, the breaking ground, he announced it when he was there. The um, the new airport that's just finished. The the waste management plant for managing waste all over the continent, where they're gonna send their waste to the Faso to be refined and reused. So, and a lot more stuff. He um paved roads, infrastructure. He's all, he never comes out prematurely and say, "I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that." He does it and then announce it. That's why he's so loved by his people. And that's why he's saying the citizens of this country must stand up and demand their government work for them, not against them. So anyway, that's just my two cents on that. Let me know what I think about this in the comment section. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you agree with Abraham Chiori? Um, when he said that he's going to release the audio and the evidence very soon of what's happening in Benin and the Ivory Coast so that no one can say he's lying, which we all know he's not a liar. So we're going to wait to see who is involved in this, which politicians in these countries and which, which, which um, French um, spy they are working with as well. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section. As always, I don't know, tell a friend, like, comment, share, subscribe. Boom.